I mean, anytime you win on opening night, it's a good night. So, um, you know, first Levi Wells was was really good. Um, and we, we were wanting five out of him. That's exactly what he got us with um, a ton of strikeouts. So that was that was good for him. Uh, I thought his off speed didn't land as good tonight, but that's part of it. You know, just getting that getting going. It's a cold night. Um, and then I thought Austin Smith did a great job coming in, uh, mixing speeds. And then, you know, offensively, there's a lot of really good swings in there. Um, you know, took advantage of some mistakes, but thought we had a lot of, a lot of good at bats, quality at bats, and played some small ball, played some move runners, hit a home run, so a little bit of everything. So I was really pleased, and I was really pleased how we ran the bases, going first to third, making some of those moves. So overall, great win. I'm excited to wake up tomorrow and hopefully do it again. Uh, how big is it that, you know, the pitching's like on point, hitting's on point, even the home crowd like on point, even on a cold night, how good does it feel like you're starting off the season on the right foot? Oh, yeah, I mean, the crowd was outstanding tonight. That was that was probably one of the best open night crowds we've had in a long time. And so uh, energy was off the charts. But, yeah, I mean, you, it all starts with the guy on the bump. And so when he came in there and, and uh, pitches with his energy and, and uh, gets after it, it's hard to, hard to beat that guy. And then, yeah, I mean, it seems like sometimes opening night, you're trying to take your time, get into the get into the groove a little bit. And uh, some guys, obviously, Larry with the big swing to kind of let everybody take a deep breath. And then we kind of got it going after that. Uh, how big was it to start off that, kind of the scoring threat with, when Ryan hits that big home run in the mm-hmm. second inning? Yeah, it just puts them on their heels, right? All of a sudden, um, now we can be a little bit more aggressive, play play how we want to. When you're playing from behind, you know, just kind of a different mindset. So, uh, so yeah, that was important because I think we scored uh, three innings there in a row, and it felt like we were all, always had guys on the bases. Uh, so it's really hard for that guy to relax on the mound. So really good job by our offense. You know, the pitching stuff, you know, a great night, you know, seven innings, no runs, you know, kind of slid off towards those last two innings. But how proud of you? you know, with Levi and then the rest of the pitching stuff, keeping, keeping up the momentum. No doubt. That's Friday night stuff right there. You know saying? That's, you're going to win baseball games because you're always going to go against a really good arm on that side. And so you got to be able to hold them down. And so, um, you know, this team is, is built around our pitching staff. And so, um, you know, we're just going to try to figure out how deep we are by, by getting guys in there and giving their opportunity. Um, but, yeah, that was a really good uh, first seven innings of, of a Friday night baseball game. Speaking of depth, uh, you put in a lot of guys there late. Mm-hmm. Um, and what does it mean to, to have those guys be able to get in and get game experience here early? Yeah, I mean, the, the first four, four weeks, we're trying to figure out our lineup. We're trying to figure out our rotation, trying to figure out our depth, to be honest with you. Um, and so you got to prepare for all of it. So uh, that was great opening night. You never really expect opening night to be able to do that. But uh, to get those guys in at bat, some of those guys, it was their first college at bat, uh, their first college hit. So uh, that, that was great to get them all in there. Uh, speaking of first co- uh, college hit, he was uh, Rashawn, right? Uh-huh. No, he got uh, he didn't get the hit on it, but he got an RBI on his yeah. first at bat. Um, what does that mean for those newcomers to get that first hit? Uh, it, it's it's great, you know. For him, Rashawn's been so hot this spring. Um, I think he's led our team in hitting this spring, so he's been he's been on fire. So he's going to be a really good player for us. So for all of them, anytime they get it, um, after they get the first hit, I, I reward them with with a game ball just so they can have it and, and take it home. So, uh, but for me, hopefully it's not their last one, right? So pretty right. good performance out there. Uh, you went five innings, nine strikeouts. Uh, how does it feel to get out there and back on the bump again? Yeah, uh, first first uh, start of the year is always kind of tough. You know, nerves are real bad, but. Uh, it sure felt good to break the ice, and uh, when nerves are real bad like that, I just tried real hard to stick to my routines, and um, uh, really what I focused on, just staying on my routines. Uh, when uh, Ryan hits that big home run uh, in the second inning, as a pitcher, how does that feel when the, your team gets on the board first? Yeah, I mean, it helps me out a lot. It allows me to pitch to a little bit more contact, and um, it allows me to save my pinch count, maybe I'll, maybe go deeper in some games too. So. Definitely was thankful that we got an early jump on those guys and it allowed me to kind of pitch to some more contact for sure. And how good, like after that home run, the team just kept on pouring more runs and more runs and how make, basically making you have that great, good cushion over there pitching. Yeah, they did a great job. Our offense has been working really hard this year and uh, putting in the hours just like us. And um, you know, it feels good to get that first one in our belt. And I'm sure that the offense feels good to put that 12 up on their spot too. So. You know, five innings, only allowing two hits, no runs. And, you know, spot being a cold night, how are you feeling tonight? Yeah, um, coming in, I knew that it was going to be cold, so I prepared for it. Did some uh, cold tub stuff, did some uh, bullpens and some, some weather conditions that I thought that, you know, I could withstand and handle. So uh, I prepared for it, and um, uh, 
looking forward to that sunshine here in a few weeks. <laughs> Shoot, Sunday almost probably, but uh, speaking of factors, this crowd absolutely rocking tonight. Uh, how did that feel, just get out here first, first game and just hear the Bobcat Nation behind you? Yeah, man, it was pretty impressive. I um, like to shout out the, the Bobcat uh, student section, the Bobcat fan base. Uh, really impressive tonight. We had a great showing. Um, one of the coaches, uh, Chad Massingo, he's been here for roughly probably eight years now, a good amount of time. And out of his whole eight years being here, this is the, the biggest that he's seen Bobcat Stadium filled out. So very impressed and uh, very thankful for y'all Bobcat fans. Speaking of pitching in cold weather, what is the difference when you're having to pitch in like in elements that are way colder than as you get into later in the season when it gets much warmer? I think uh, control and intent wise has a lot to do with the cold weather. I felt like today my intent was good, but my intent could have been more powerful down the mound. And, um, you know, it's still early. So uh, kind of just working on my timing and my consistency out there the best I could. But uh, definitely uh, feel like with all these extra layers I have on it uh, takes away a little bit of range of motion up top. So uh, hopefully I get that range of motion back and some heat and get ready to ride. Uh, let's just start with the beginning of the game. First play. I mean, absolutely crazy. I don't know if you know this, but NCAA Baseball blasted that yeah. on their Twitter. Yeah. Um, that's awesome. What does that mean for you to just kind of get that get that going and, and, and just be able to kind of bring the spark just right. from the beginning? No, it, was, it was cool, you know. I was, I was pretty locked in. There was a lot of people and there was a lot of juices flowing, you know. So it was cool to kind of get that adrenaline going and everything. So it was fun, yeah. You know, Ryan, going into that second inning, you hit that really big home run to kind of spark this big scoring threat. Uh, what did you see on that pitch, and how were you able to connect on that? Um, so I'll take it back to our hitters meeting. Um, one of our players who uh, played for the, the pitching coach previously, you know, before he got to Northwestern, said that he likes to, you know, go slider away and then throw a fastball in, and that's just what he did. So he threw me a slider away for a ball and then left a, a sinker kind of over the heart of the plate. So I just stuck to an approach and got the head out. And, you know, you know, you also had a really big triple later on in the game. Uh, how were you know? How were you able to connect? You know, throughout the night. Yeah, it was good. I think just you know, really sticking to the uh, line drive over the second baseman's head. You know, that's the approach right up there. So you know, you get a those two strikes and you get a hanging breaking ball and just try and stick yeah. the approach, stay inside of it, and good things will happen. So saw it well. You know, you weren't the only one that scored. You know, 12 runs in this opening night. How good does it feel to start off the season off right? Oh, it's great. It's great. I think the energy out here was crazy. I think. All the fans brought it. We brought it. I mean, it was, it was a lot of fun. I'm, I'm looking forward to more games out here against, you know, anybody. It doesn't matter who they roll out. What does it mean as, as a batter to, to be able to have a guy like Wells on the mound and everybody else behind him and Smith and, and Wofford and all them, just to, to be able to keep y'all in the game no matter what, uh, just keep that score low? Oh, yeah, it's 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 a crazy feeling, you know, and, and the dugout and everything on the field, whatever it may be, like when you got a guy like Wells up there or any of our other pitchers, really, you know, we have confidence in all of our guys no matter who we roll out. So, you know, well specifically, like he goes out there and we know he's going to do well. Zeke, I mean, any of these guys, you name any of them, they're all going to go out there and give us our best. And, and we're confident in all of them. You know, we talked to uh, Levi about, you know, pitching cold weather compared to hot weather. As a hitter, how does that kind of affect your hitting? I don't know. I mean, I guess it was pretty chilly tonight, but, you know, in the beginning, yeah. everything's pretty, mm -hmm. everything, all those juices are flowing pretty good. So it didn't, it didn't really affect me a whole lot. But when it gets real cold, I think your hands just, you start getting, losing a little bit of feel for that barrel, but it was good tonight. You mentioned the crowd a little bit already. Uh, talk about, I mean, what it was like to, to be able to have Bobcat Nation behind you today. Oh, it was great. It was great to see everybody come out and support, especially after last year. So um, it meant a lot just to see that everybody still bought in on the Cats. And I don't know, it's awesome. We'll keep it rolling.